Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ant Holfer YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about the Ada Mexicana and how I literally hold the funky while moving them from one pot to another pot. Now this week the member lamp is red, chosen by Poor More Arts. Thank you for the choice. But like I said, today we are going to talk about the moving of the Ada Mexicana from this pot to this pot, how I literally hold the fungi in my hand and how they are doing now in the new pot. Okay, let's get the big thing out of the way. How did I literally hold the fungi in my hand? Well, if we're gonna talk about that, we're gonna have to go 24 hours in the past. Because in the background, I also have the Acromermix Oxpenosis. And I did the exact same moving with them. So I set up two containers for the two pods. And with these containers, I put some escape prevention so the ants would be able to get out of the pod, but not all over my ant room. Now, my idea was to quite simply just go down, grab the mesh that the fungi is currently located on, and just lift the mesh up and just dump it into the new pod. However, this was a lot harder than I thought. Now taking off the lid, the acromemics worker, as per usual, flied out straight away. Now I tried to keep calm and get the leaves out as quickly. Now at this point, it's very important to note that my room has a humidity around 30%, meaning I have to be quite quick with this operation to not dry the fungi to its death. I'm going in and trying to grab the mesh straight away. And straight away, I'm looting the fungi. I had written in the back of my head that the fungi would stay on the mesh, but no. It's all going wrong and the fungi is falling off. Now with some quick thinking, I'm rubbing the fungi up against the wall to try to keep it on the mesh. But disaster strikes when everything splits apart and the fungi completely disassembles and falls into pieces in the same pot as they got out of. So now with a possibly dead queen and a fungi completely ripped apart, what am I gonna do next? Well, with fungi completely disassembled, with the queen not being in visual sight, we're gonna have to wait and see what happened to the acromermics in the acromermics video. So what went wrong? Well, my entrance angle of going for the mesh, that was just a complete wrong idea. I should just have grabbed the fungi up and lifted it into the new place. Easy to say now when I have already moved them. But I'm now standing looking at the Ada Mexicana Queen, this beautiful little fungi, and thinking of how wrong it went yesterday. So what am I gonna do different? Well, I decided quite, quite quickly that it was not a good idea to use the tweezers because I just did not have enough connection with the tweezers down to, well, the fungi. So I sanitized my hands and went in. Straight away getting in and taking out the old leaves. And then it is fungi time. Now straight away I decided to go for the mesh once more. But I could quickly see that the same problem was occurring with the fungi not being stuck to the mesh and the fungi was trying to tip over. I tried to change my angle of attack but everything just went wrong. And it was at that moment I thought, okay, all or nothing, let's grab the entire fungi and simply just move it into the new pot. And with me literally holding the fungi in my hands and moving it into the new pot, everything seemingly went to plan. Now this was such more a successful move, although my hands and the oils from my hands are not that good for the fungi, so I do not recommend moving them like this. But I just saw, saw the entire acromermics thing in my head and I was just like, no. No, I'm just gonna grab it and move it over. And goddamn, that was one story for the start of this video. Now, if you follow my YouTube Shorts account, you will know that over the following days, they started to move the fungi back into the pot where I had completely stocked up on leaves and literally building the fungi on the leaves. And I was talking a bit back and forward with people, what do we do? And pretty much everybody just agreed, we just need to wait for this pot to dry and they will prioritize this pot. And yeah, I simply just waited. I moved the fungi back and just waited. And within around a week, they had accepted that this was the fungi pot and built the fungi in that pot instead. And today the fungi is looking like this. It is so massive. Think only five months ago, the fungi was this small with the queen being double the size of the fungi almost. It is insane to think about. Now the next big step in my Ada keeping journey is saying goodbye to the queen, which I'm already doing a little bit. She's becoming harder and harder to spot and I'm guessing it's only a matter of weeks before she is finally within the fungi chamber and never to be seen again. Now this is quite normal with the queens because they just get a fungi chamber, move in 
and probably never be seen again, except if they just somehow come out and take a little peek around. So it is very normal, although it will be very sad not to see this massive queen anymore. Now I know a lot of you would like to see a time lapse of me feeding the ants some leaves. And well, I got you covered, because I set up a GoPro, I started recording. And I came in. And yeah, the recording went very well, but they did not eat any of the leaves. Because I gave them some privet and at the moment they really just love bramble. So I thought, okay, screw it, we wait a few days, we take the new time lapse with them bramble. And that is what I did. Now this time lapse got corrupted. So I was like, okay. It's now 8 p.m. I'm gonna have to go to bed. I'm gonna take an overnight time lapse that's gonna take a picture every 10 seconds. Now I woke up around, I don't know, 2 or 3 a.m. and came out to see that the, um, the time lapse had um, got corrupted. So I wanted to try one last time, and the next morning, yeah, it was also broken. So I decided to just use my Canon camera right here, and I got you a little time lapse. Now, I really wanted to show you how insane they go for cutting within the first few hours. Now, 12 hours later, uh, sadly, there wasn't much active cutting. So I'm gonna have to try and make some more clips for the next video, I guess. But generally, I am just so impressed by the sheer size of this fungi. Over the last few weeks, they have cut an insane amount of leaves, and I can pretty much dump so much leaves in, and within around three days, they are all gone again. The fungi is just enormous and it is expanding in all directions, but also the wrong directions. You see this right here is where the two pots meet and yeah, there's very little place for where the ants come out and go into the pot because they have literally blocked off the entire entrance of the, well, the entrance into the fungi pot with fungi. Now, in the end of the video, I'm gonna simply just try to go in and grab the fungi and tip it. Because first of all, I've heard a lot of people trying to tip the fungi and seeing the fungi explode growing even faster. And second, I, I, I can't see them really getting in anymore. So I, I'm decided I'm gonna tip the fungi and see how it goes. That is gonna be in the end of the video though, so you have to, you have to stay a while, I'm sorry. Except for the fungi completely exploding, I actually don't see much brood whatsoever. This is of course because the brood is located within the fungi, or at least that is what I'm hoping for. However, it is really cool to see the small majors start to come around. Now, the thing about Ada is they have these super majors that is almost the size of the queen, and I don't see any of them yet, but I'm starting to see more and more small majors. However, they are not over in the feeding pot, they are just in the fungi pot. But when they get a little bit older, they will of course relocate a bit more into the leaf cutting pot, instead of just the fungi pot. At the moment, I'm not yet sure if they are bigger than the Acromermax majors, but they look so damn impressive. They definitely have a lot more of an aggressive look, and they just look big compared to the Acromermax workers, where the Acromermax majors are just a little bit scaled up versions of these smaller workers. Now, as we round up this video, there is still two things that confuses me. One, they have decided to keep the trash within their fungi pot, although I have removed it into the other pot a few times, but they just kept moving the trash back and you can see over here is where we have the trash. Now the problem is they love putting the trash down in the mesh, meaning that I can't really relocate it. That's how it is. Now up until last week they kept all the trash in this pot, but last week they finally decided to put a little bit of that trash over here. So I'm guessing that for now they will start to relocate that trash from the fungi pot to the leaf feeding pot, which is uh, really nice because then I can actually remove it. Although it may just be because they have the trash that they try to control the humidity because there is a lot of talk about them using dirt and other substances to help keep the humidity within what they like. But it's very nice for me to finally see that they are relocating the trash into the other pot. Meaning that they have finally accepted that their main pot with the fungi inside is only for fungi. What a journey it's been. First of all, they just moved all the trash into the fungi pot and all of their fungi into the leaf cutting pot. Then the leaf pot dried and they finally relocated the fungi back into the fungi pot and now after a month or so, they are finally starting to take the trash out of the fungi pot and into the leaf pot. So, <laughs> what a journey. Now, I can't say it's all over because in the feeding pot, they are constantly rebuilding a small little mini fungi straight in and up with the leaves. Now, I simply relocate this fungi when it gets a little bit too big, but it's really interesting to see the ants grow the two fungis together. And look, you almost can't even see that this was two separate fungis. I mean, you can see it because I'm seeing it. 
But I just find it really interesting that they keep building a mini fungi in here. And I'm simply, I'm simply just scoop it up and move it over to the other part. I can't lie, all in all, this colony is doing amazingly well. It's insane how much they cut and I am so happy to keep them and I can make so many videos on these girls because they're just so goddamn impressive now. So let's just bring the members up. And once more, this member list has grown. Now I just want to say a massive thank you to all the members, but also, if you are a member, send me a message on Instagram and I'll help you get into the member server because at the moment, I actually can't see if you're joining. I can't get, a, get in contact with you. I don't have any way to see who you are, except that you've just joined. So yeah, if you are a member and you're not in the Discord server, just send me a message on Instagram or your Facebook and I'll help you get into the Discord server. With that all out the way, I think we should tip the fungi. So I'm gonna make this quite quick. The queen is located over here and I'm simply gonna lift the fungi and move it a little bit over here so they don't completely block the in nest entrance. There will be some escapees, but that is how it is. So I'm simply, simply taking the lid off, getting in here to the fungi, and you know what, I think I'm gonna tip it anyway. Uh, the problem is it's quite hard to get into the correct side, because I always kind of feel like I'm gonna push it from this side, just gonna... That's the problem with this fungi, is it's so soft that you can't really do anything to it. So what I've done now is basically cleared it from the nest entrance and now I can replace the lid again. And just a little life talk, the ants can now easily get in and the fungi can grow a little bit to all sizes. So yeah, this is mostly just because I didn't want them to be able to just block off the nest entrance and not make them able to get the big leaves in. And now back to outro me. Now, back in the past where the fungi haven't yet been tipped. I just want to say I hope it went well. Although I have no idea because I haven't done it yet. A big thank you to all the members and a special thank you to our three Holofer family members. Mr. Ryan from Antscapes, Mr. Medical Carcase number 9 and Nordic Ants. Thank you all for being family members and a massive thank you to all the other members. Now I would just like to say if you have reached so far in the video, you, you seem to like the video, will you drop a subscribe for me? It would mean the world to me if you would at least. And help the channel as well. Either way. That has been it for this video, so don't forget to like and subscribe, become a member today if you like, and I will see you all in another video. Bye!